It's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful and getting very cold Atlanta, Georgia. Today is January the 28th, 2022. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Green Guard HD Slim model on a 48 inch trim start. So if you go back and look at uh, my videos where I installed the regular HD model on a 54 inch trim star, this is completely different because the deck configuration is really, really, well, it's not anything as good as it was on the 54. Let me show you. So if you go back and look at that video, the 54 had a metal square cover that was right here. It didn't jut out as far. There was not this horrible bracket that they've got welded here. And the, uh, the deck was curved. The opening was actually curved a little bit. So we have a, well, not as much room to work with for installing this. So originally I was gonna to try to go with the regular HD model like I did um, on the 54 inch and not gonna work. So that's actually good because I'm gonna show you how to install the slim version. So the way that you can tell which version that you need is you can go on the Green Guard website and they have some downloads that have life size uh, drawings. This is just on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I cut it out with some scissors. And this is the actual true to life profile of the uh, way that this sits. So as you can see, um, what we're most concerned with is the space in gray because this is the actual physical um, profile of where the base sits and where the motor and the gear assembly sit. And as you can see, this cover is in the way. Now, if the motor was up higher, uh, the cover would actually, or this would actually work until you had to take this off, then you'd have to remove the, um, the assembly to get to the belts. So this is the regular HD model. Now, look at this, this is the slim model. And this is gonna work. This just barely, barely fits. So I'll be able to put this right here. Now the motor's gonna stick up and there's gonna be uh, enough clearance for the, uh, the actual uh, flap to come up. It'll clear this. This is only like uh, two and three quarters inches up and we need three and a half inches of clearance, which is good. And we've got plenty of clearance over here on the uh, motor side. So that's what we ordered. Now, here is the uh, box that it came with. I got the, just like last time, I got the magnetic, the no drill kit model, which has got the magnets. I also got the optional dust uh, cover. So it comes with some really nice directions. And um, I, I encourage you to read that. But we're gonna get right to this. I'm just, this is more of a video, um, kind of a, video direction it's, it's really nicely packed and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install this and uh, what we're going to be looking for in the installation all right so the first thing I'm going to do is and you've got to be very careful because these magnets are extremely strong I'm going to just put this down like this and you want to try to get it about in the center. It doesn't have to be, it can be offset just a little bit. Um, but I think I have plenty of room. And uh, you can't beat this no drill kit. So I'm going to go ahead and get a wrench and we'll loosen this and I'll show you how to tilt this motor back slightly just a little bit. All right, so I've got an 11 millimeter wrench here and I'm just gonna loosen these three bolts just a little bit, enough to where I can slide the motor around. There we go. All right, so I have a 12 volt battery right here. And what I wanna do before I go any further 
is I just want to test and make sure uh, there's no problems with the motor before I go and um, bolt the guard to this. So I'm just going to take the wiring. The wiring is very, very easy. All right. There's a pigtail right here. And um, it's just a uh, double terminal tail. And then you've got, you've got connectors here and right here. Now these are already wired to the uh, rocker switch. And uh, let me go grab a jumper and we'll hook it up to the battery and I'll show you how this operates. I took a lead, my battery, the negative, since uh, you have to look in the directions, but if you have a regular battery on your uh, mower like this one does, then you're gonna see these leads like this. This right here is gonna go on the battery on the negative side. This red terminal right here is gonna go on the positive side. And I just used the jumpers and uh, that's how I was operating the mower. Obviously when you do that, you have to do the switch like this, but, um, yeah, I'm just doing that test before I go ahead and route everything together. And I think next uh, I'm going to go ahead and install the plate and then we will route the electrical connections and make our connections at the battery. All right, so I took the flap off because I wanted to show you guys something that may be a problem on your mower. Uh, it is on this one. If you can see, this thing, the flap will not close because it's hitting the bolts against the uh, the lip right here right so there's two things we can do what we need to ultimately do is we need to raise this up just enough so that the bolts and the nuts will clear um see how that clears the other thing you could do is just drill two additional holes right here but they are square holes so you'll have to file them out so let me uh let me do a little bit of looking here and see uh, what course of action I'm going to take to correct this. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. I basically just marked the uh, two holes where I need the two new holes to be. And I drilled uh, just a little bit bigger than that. I think it was uh, like a, a little bit bigger than a 5 16th. I just took a cheap uh, square file and filed all four sides. And the carriage bolt fits right in just like it did uh, just like it did on the original hole so I'm gonna file this one down and get it to uh, to match this and we'll proceed all right so that's exactly how it should sit it's perfectly flush actually it's up maybe a sixteenth of an inch from the bottom of the deck that way it won't scrape it's nice and tight right there and what I did was I took the uh, the big washers and I ground them just the, uh, let me show you. I ground the uh, bottoms off right here because I am right at the edge when this is bolted up so it'll clear everything absolutely perfectly and it'll work just fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spare you guys the uh, trouble of seeing me put all these bolts in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the fabric back on here I'm going to bolt everything up and then we'll uh, do a test fit of it actually operating then we'll do the wiring it is actually producing like a gasket seal right here because you're you're never going to have a perfect seal um, but while this is closed it's really really tight now let me show you when you lift it up all right see with the motor this is the deal with the slim um, putting that motor down just a little bit and I may play with that because it's barely it's just hanging over the plane just just barely so let me do a little bit of adjusting and see if I can still uh, get the uh, cover off there alright so one thing I, I should have thought about this earlier when I was showing you guys this um, I don't have to take this um, I don't have to take this out this way. I can just take it out this way and pop this top cover off. So I'm going to roll with that. And let me show you now 
the angle that it comes up. So that's a little bit more than 90 degrees and it will not interfere with anything. So that is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I really like the fact I never thought about uh, this not only blocking the grass shooting back up, but it, it produces a seal. So, very good idea. All right, well, uh, let's get to the wiring. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fish, going to fish the uh, positive and negative terminals for the battery. I'm going to uh, go ahead and attach them and then put the cover back on. That part is pretty self-explanatory. Um, no way for me to set the camera up, but you, you get the idea on that. All right, so I've got the uh, two connections hooked up to the uh, both battery terminals. I put the cover back on, and now perfect. So all that's left to do is to route the wires along the frame with the uh, magnetic wire holders and we'll do that next. All right, so here we are. I had one of these uh, magnets right here. I'm gonna get a heavier one like I put on the 54 inch when I did that, but just for now, I mounted the magnet uh, just like I had it on the other mower. I took the uh, clamp, the handlebar clamp that was on there off and used the bolt and nut that was in the kit and check it out. Now I put it here because I can easily hit it with my fingers. And I routed the wires. These two right here will just be temporary um, because it's it's got a lot of torque on it because it's a thick cable. But I use the uh, enclosed magnetic cable holders to route the cables just like that. And I made sure that uh, nothing hits. This is close, but it doesn't hit. Um, the breakaway lanyard right here. Now I have knocked, because this is magnetic, I knocked my um, other one off a couple times going under bushes that had a thick limb and it, it just knocked it off. Now this is not gonna fall off because of this lip right here. It has a lip all the way around, uh, but I put it on there anyway. Who knows, just in case. But I, basically I just ran it around this chain like this and ran it around this. So if this were to fall, um, it's, I've got it short enough where the, it's not gonna get sucked under the mower. So let's uh, crank this thing up. It's getting about, it's about 20 degrees outside. The wind's blowing really hard. So let's wrap this up. Let, let's operate it and see how it goes. 